Well, hello. God bless you, my friends. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here today. And listen, the words of uh, uh, the spiritual uh, song comes to mind that says, I was alone and idle, and I was a sinner too. But I heard a voice from heaven saying, there is work to do. So I took my master's hand and I joined the Christian band. Now I'm on the battlefield for the Lord. It goes on to say, I'm on the battlefield for the Lord. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for the Lord. And I promised God that I would serve him till I die. I'm on the battlefield for the Lord. My friends, I'm on the battlefield for the Lord, and so are you. And I'm excited about being a part of God's army in these last days with all of the things that are going on in the world today. As you can see, my friends, we are not taking down. We're not compromising. We're not backing up. And as a matter of fact, I'm more encouraged than I've ever been before to stand on the word of the Lord. You know, there is no room for neutrality. We preached this uh, a particular message on, uh, on last Sunday, and I tell you, I thank you for the response. And uh, I think the message struck a nerve because the enemy uh, is not really after, uh, uh, it is not, let me rephrase this, it is not the goal of Satan to make you denounce Jesus Christ or to get you to, to backslide because Satan knows that you're probably much too far gone in Jesus for any foolishness like that. But if he can get you just to be silent, if he can get you to the place where you say, well, I don't judge anybody. Who am I to say what's right or wrong? People can say, do what they want to do. I'm not the judge. I'm not the Lord. And you express no strong convictions. You express no uh, opinion. You don't hold a position at all. Then, my friends, you are where the devil wants you to be. And I believe, I believe, as never before, that God is calling the believer to come out of the closet, to stand our ground, and to let the world know that not only are we not against Christ, but we are for him. We are on his side. He is our Lord, our Savior, our hero, our potentate the soon coming king, the only savior of the world, the healer of our bodies, the keeper of our souls, and he's the lifter of our head. And I thank God, I thank God for his goodness, his kindness, and his tender mercy. Now, I'm excited about tonight. I'm excited about tonight. I, I, I kind of gave away just a little bit of what I want to talk about, but I want to encourage you to meet me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> yes, Bible study. We, we're going to study the word of the Lord together. And, and if you can't be here in person, of which many of you uh, have and are, and we, but we thank God for our friends who join us online. You all, you are some fantastic people. Thank you for every card, every letter. Uh, you know, the 11th was uh, my birthday. And I tell you, the saints were so kind and so generous. And, and the kind things that you had to say, the, the kind cards, just the different things. I want to I wanna thank you for being so kind and so caring. I've often say people don't have to. And yet uh, you are. And so I thank the Lord for those words of encouragement that you've sent me, the cards, the letters, the, uh, the multitude of people who say to me, wouldn't whatever you do, don't change, don't take down. And you know what? With your prayers and the help of the Lord, we will not because God is our keeper and he's our strength. So I'll see you tonight right here. We're going to study the word of the Lord together. God bless you.